Hi, in this video I'm going to give you an update of how we are currently using live tiles along with SharePoint at my school. Now I had to create a video because this is a secure network so only students and teachers can log in and access or view this using their school username and password. So this here is the landing live tiles page that we have for our students. You can see here that we have our Facebook embedded over here. We've got uh, scrolling pictures of events coming up, images, and allocated to primary and secondary. I'll show you the primary page first. So if I click on primary, I still stay with live tiles. Now this is not editable by teachers. Only admin staff can edit this. So then if I click on to year five, for example, now I'm actually leaving live tiles and this is a SharePoint learning space and this learning space teachers are able to edit and use it themselves. The other two pages were only able to be edited by um, those who have access. So here is an example. This is a SharePoint learning space. We've tried to keep it very similar to the live tiles by having a similar banner. We've also created these tile effects here, which are similar to live tiles, even though it's actually a SharePoint page. Now, these tiles, or actually the not tiles, are actually just a simple JPEG, were created using a free program using Canva. So teachers can create them. Then you can click on your subject link. I'm still now in SharePoint and then teachers can edit and upload their own work and manage their own learning space. Here's an example of one page. Okay, now I'll actually show you a example of a secondary page. So if I go to the secondary hub, this page here is a live tiles page. Again, teachers cannot edit this, only admin can. Then I might select, for example, year eight. Again, this is another live tiles page. Um, if I click on digital technologies, however, or any of these subjects, we then are linked to a SharePoint learning space. So here, tiles have been created to make it similar to live tiles, to make the scrolling minimal and teachers can click on their subject. So this here we're looking at project management and here are lessons, embedded videos and resources and assessment tasks for students. I'll show you another one of these year eight pages. So for example, if I click on programming language you see we have a student outcome, so this is all created by the teachers, not by the admin in SharePoint. If you look at flowcharts, structured English, visual programming, structured programming, control structures, and then that moves on to general purpose language. Okay, what we've also done in, uh, whether it's a primary or secondary, it doesn't matter. I have a group of students who are tech executives. They meet with me once a week and they create resources. So live tiles page, click on ICT help and it moves into SharePoint which the teachers can edit. And I have a team of students who have been working with me and they have been creating video resources for teachers and students to access. Uh, we have general ones for our Surface Pro this is help for Office 365. For example, if I click on Word Online, this is the Office 365 app. You can see here that there are video tutorials uh, which are in English. We also have a student who translates uh, English tut uh, video tutorials into Chinese for international students. Let's go back. If I select, um, if I select another one, OneDrive, for example, 
you can see the students have created it's a work in progress but that's what they're working on another way we've utilized live tiles in SharePoint is for the staff page so now I'm going to the staff section this is only accessible for staff we land here with a live tiles page which teachers can't edit it takes us to a teaching and learning space and here this is like your curriculum pages I've started working on the IT curriculum page so what I've started to set up here is resources which teachers can only access so for example here I have SharePoint resources and I've created video tutorials on how to access and create a new page, add a ribbon and banner, add a table, downloading resizing images, inserting a safe picture, resizing a frustratingly large image, uploading a document, linking a video, a screen capture and so forth. All of these videos are two to two, three minutes in maximum, which are ideal for teachers to follow. If these are also accessible via my YouTube channel. If I select home again, what I've also set up on here because it's for staff only is I started to click up my uh, curriculum programs. So on here I've started to create tiles for each of the year levels which I manage. I manage reception to year nine and then if they click on the tile teachers will be able to see what other years are doing in IT in terms of programming. So I hope that's given you some sort of idea on how we are currently using our live tiles integrated with SharePoint, which gives teachers access to it. Oh, one other thing I was going to mention too is we've also set it up so that teachers can create a classic or a new experience page. So if I just select a page, I might go to Maths. Okay, so if I was in here and I wanted to create a new page, I have two options. You have an option to go up to this cog here and select Add a Page. And this page here is a new experience page. It's similar to Live Tiles and the drag and drop interface staff at my school didn't like this because it was very different from what we're used to and it doesn't have a microsoft word interface so what we did instead is we set it up so that they could create a classic page to do that i select page view all pages select new then they name the page, okay? Now the reason why, and then edit it. The reason why teachers like this is if I show you a page, uh, let me just go home. I'll show you my homework page, for example. This is a standard page, which is a classic page. When teachers select edit, they are very familiar with it because it's got the micro, it's got the word interface, okay, which is very common to what they're using with Word and so forth. So this is the format that our teachers prefer rather than the classic mode.